Hey everybody, it's Christy and I hope everybody is doing fantastic. So, you like this makeup look? Well, you better believe there's a makeup tutorial that's going to be the next video that I do. But anywho, this video is very important to me. Now, when I started on YouTube almost two years ago, I started with the intentions of just having fun. It's like a hobby to me. And plus, I enjoy sharing information with people. My intent was not to bring any elements of work into this. I am a registered nurse by profession. And I just wanted to leave work there and just leave home here and let YouTube be YouTube. But I have been inspired by so many people on YouTube and in particular I've been inspired by Beauty Essentials. About a week or so ago she did a video called All Pink Everything and I thought that was so cute. Everything was pink, her makeup was pink and so I decided to do an all pink makeup tutorial which is the makeup that I'm wearing now. and. Like I said, I will release that video next. But more importantly, um, I wanted to share some information with you guys. And this is coming from a Everybody nursing knows standpoint. Somebody you know that's been affected by breast cancer. Um, I have co-workers, friends, and a couple of family members. Um, as we speak, I have an aunt who is battling breast cancer and is going through chemotherapy so we all have been affected by breast cancer and so what I wanted to do today was bring a video to you men and women because men get breast cancer too not only women men and women so if I have some male subscribers it would behoove you to watch this video and learn how to examine your breast but well, that's what this is this is um, a video to show you how to examine your breast. First of all, the best time to examine your breast is after you have your cycle because the breast tissue is not as dense as it is. If you pay attention to your body, you can tell that right before your cycle starts, it's like your breasts are very full. So after your cycle, this has pretty much resolved and you can just feel everything a little better. What you want to do is lay down, take a pillow and put it up under either shoulder. You know, if you're going to do the right breast, you put the pillow up under here. That way it's pushing everything forward and you can feel a little better. Put your hand behind your head and you take your hand and keep your hand flat. And you're going to go around in circles. You can start at the top. Like I said, keep your hand flat. Go around in circles. And you even go up under your arm. You make the circles all the way around. And then you make a smaller circle. Just feeling. Just checking. All the way around. Smaller circle. Smaller circle. Till you get to the nipple. When you get to the nipple. nipple you squeeze to make sure there's no discharge or anything from your nipple. Repeat that with the other breast. You can also do a monthly self breast exam in the shower because when you use your body wash or your soap or whatever, um, you know your hands are slippery and you can get a good feel that way. As for the guys, you can just pick a day each month to say that you're going to check your breast. Now, everyone, look at yourself. Look at your breast. Look in the mirror. Know what you look like. Know what you feel like. If you notice that your breast look like orange peels with dimpling and it looks like rough, that is something that needs to be looked at. If you feel some hard masses in your breast that don't move, they feel like rocks, that is definitely something that needs to be looked at. Now ladies, you need to consult with your doctor to find out 
what their recommendations are as far as having mammograms. Um, I know for myself, I need to have one every year, and I do because cancer runs in my family. There's no way in the world that I could let October go by without addressing this. Uh, this is what I do. I take care of people. And if I can give some information that's going to help somebody, possibly save somebody's life, and change their health care practices, then it is my duty to do that, and that's what I'm going to do. So I hope that this has helped someone. Someone has been enlightened. Someone is going to uh, do monthly breast self exams and incorporate this into your practice because so many people are being diagnosed with breast cancer. And sometimes if you could catch it early, it's not as bad. So that is it for this video. I hope it's been helpful. I'd like to thank all of my new subscribers and my old subscribers. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care and be blessed. Bye-bye.